Welcome to TS Power again. Now we're going to look at the scatter bivariate regression tool. It's under statistics scatter. This tool is very easy to use. I actually already made two selections. I just, you know, you just pick two variables and uh, the first thing you pick becomes y, the second thing be you pick becomes uh, y, the y variable. And you can see what they are. So my y, y, y variable is 2001 general period per day from the data set CDD. My x variable now is 1996 data the 1996 data for the same variable so what am I doing I'm trying to see if the data match up from the two different years they should because it's the same variable um, and um, and so I'm expecting to see a lot of correlation between the two variables sometimes when you first click it doesn't work so you have to click again and um, by default it's going to aggregate things up to the provincial level when I try to do a regression it's going to give me the basic regression statistical results and it's also going to give me um, a, 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 a plot, a XY scatter plot. You can see that they do match up pretty well. You can see the title of the graph, what the axes are, and you can see the intercept estimated coefficient and so on. One thing you might want to do is actually instead of doing things at the provincial level, which you're aggregating things up to now, you can change the aggregation level by clicking on graph options. The raw level of the data is actually at the village level, but we will choose this thing called AMPA, which is for Thailand, with sub the, the, the name for the sub-provincial area. And after we do that, you will see that basically more observations will come up. And sometimes it's important to do this because patterns you see at a provincial level might not be there at a lower level. So we can go back to the previous thing, click on 72, you can see how they differ and how they're still very consistent. But here, there's more variation. Um, and the other thing you can do is you can cut away some outliers. Um, there's really no need here, but sometimes for a lot of the other data we have, there's a lot of outliers, and uh, unless you cut them out, um, the, the scatter plot could be very hard to see. Now we're going to cut away 5% of the outliers, and um, that will make the graph look a little different. So you see that some outliers being cut, we're being sort of we're zoomed in a little bit more. Um, you can see the difference between the two. Thank you very much.